Hey everybody, Ed Holmut, Old Guy Hi-Fi channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, today is going to be an interesting little video. I hope you enjoy it. Most of you will recognize this as a Gashelli Labs DAC. Now this is a J2 socketed one, and this is with the AKM 4499 chipset in conjunction with the AKM 4191. Now this one has is socketed, so I can roll the op amps. Now it comes stock with the TI 1651s, I believe that is, and then you can put the Sparkos 3602s in or the Bursons, and there's a couple options on the Bursons, um, and you can put up to three in. So one for single-ended, two for balanced, one for single-ended, two for balanced. The problem is Andrew Sparkos came up with a new chip and I'm going to read you the description of it perfectly because I want to make sure I get it right. This is the Sparkos Pro to dual dip eight adapter with two SS2590 chips fully assembled. Look at the size of that. Well, you can't put three of those in this box. I was able to get one back on the single-ended, but I can't do balanced single-ended all at the same time. So guess what I got in this little bag here? I have got the first one on YouTube, the Gashelli Lab J3 Pro unit. Now this is an all new board design from Gino. It can accommodate the 2590s. It can accommodate any of the op amp chips that they offer, but it was designed specifically to accommodate the 2590. Now, Gino also at the time, as he was laying out the board new to make space for those things, he also put in uh, a new internal ultra low noise power supply and the unit now ships with a better AC adapter power supply, much lower noise. It also has a new low noise SMT surface mount technology oscillator, which obviously increases the timing accuracy within the DAC itself. And it has a relay switched USB output, which removes any noise generated from the USB board, the Amonero board when it's turned off. So it should be an improvement overall. Now, I have not yet had a chance to listen to this. This literally just, I brought it in off the porch. FedEx was just here dropping it off. So I'm give me a, a week or 10 days or so to listen to it. I've got some other reviews in between uh, when this would come out. And I want to have a good chance to listen to it. Now, I've listened to the J2, standard J2 with the Sparkos op amps in it. And I was able to get one of these on the single ended, as I said. And I listened to it with the Bursons. And this is a marvelous DAC. It is really good. I'm very anxious to hear the J3 Pro with the uh, big Sparkos op amps on it on the balance side because I run balanced, uh, I can run balanced on my system. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I was running this a lot in a lot of the, the reviews of the vintage gear you saw me do. I would use the Cambridge MXN 10 streamer feeding the J2 DAC uh, with the standard Sparkos op amp or the Burson as I was trying to listen to the two. I prefer the Sparkos. The TI sounded really good, the stock ones. But anyway, that was what the, the deck I was using when I did all the evaluations of all of that vintage gear that I did. And also, too, I've been using it to uh, taking the optical out of an Eversolo DMP A6 and running the optical into here and then using this as the deck to compare this against the DMP A6's deck. And I will reveal all the secrets about that when I do the full review on the DMP A6, which is coming up, too. So anyway, first look at the Gashelli Labs J3 Pro socketed AKM 4499 deck. I am so excited and I can't wait to get started on this one. Well, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. It's just a quickie. Um, if you did, please give me a like, please subscribe. The more subscribers I can get on the channel, the more credibility I have with the manufacturers to get gear into review. So you guys can see new stuff and different stuff and obviously get my take on it for what that's worth. But it really does help the channel grow. Also, too, in the description below are, is a list of all the equipment I use in the studio, all of the, all the electronics I use and cables and so forth. There are affiliate links for those. Remember, I make a small commission, but it doesn't affect the price you pay or your ability to return it. And below that are playlists, my playlist. I would love to have you share your playlist with me. I'd like to put together a community post with everybody's playlist in it so we can all be exposed to different music and kind of get a feel for what we're all listening to, which I think would be a ton of fun. And to me, that's the best part of all of this. Also to comment, uh, as many of you know, anybody who's commented, I always read the comments. I always respond to the comments. I enjoy hearing your take on things and your opinion and sharing your experiences. I really, it, it's a ton of fun for me. So anyway, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. I think that's it. Look for the review coming up in uh, probably two weeks or so. Anyway, this is Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi channel saying now, time for you to go listen to some music. Thank you so much.